Venus. In our secondary mathematics kit prepared by NCERT, we have these circular cutouts. These are five in number and observe that they are divided into four sectors. We will be performing an activity with this to find out area of the circle. We have here circular cutout with four sectors. We shall arrange them in such a way that they form a parallelogram. See in this way it forms, it resembles a parallelogram. Similarly, we have another cutout which has six equal sectors. Let us arrange them in a similar manner. Yes, what do you observe? They resemble a parallelogram. In a similar way, we can arrange these sectors which are 8 in number. Yes, as the number of parts are going on increasing, the figure is resembling a parallelogram. In a similar way, we can arrange the cutouts which are provided here. In a similar pattern, we arrange these sectors which are 12 in number in this manner. What do you observe? We observe that as the number of sectors are increasing, our figure is resembling a parallelogram. So, in order to calculate the area of circle, we can calculate the area of parallelogram. Here, what is the area of parallelogram? It is base into height. So, the base is formed by half of the circumference and height is the radius of the sector here. So, the area becomes half of circumference that is 2 pi r into r and as a result we have area of circle as pi r square. So, in this manner as we take more number of sectors we have a form of a rectangle. We can cut the parts last part and we can place half on one side and half on other side and that resembles a rectangle and area of rectangle is length into breadth. So, in the same way we can deduce that area of circle is half of circumference into height that is radius and thus we get area of circle as pi r square. So, we have seen that how we can obtain area of circle with the help of these circular cutouts. These circular cutouts can also be used to explain the concept of fractions, equivalent fractions. Mm -hmm.